The headquarters of the New York Police Department is a four-story building, the main entrance to which is in Mulberry Street. It was erected, a tablet inside tells us, in 1862. An officer is always on duty at the main entrance, packed with facts for the inquirer. The police force of all grades numbers 3,421, one officer to each 512 of the city's population. That is counting captains, sergeants, detectives, roundsmen, patrolmen, and doormen. The latter are uniformed and pretty well informed, if a trifle lowering on wet days. The examination of applicants for appointment as patrolmen are held at the central department on Monday of each week by a changing committee of surgeons. Each physical defect liable to render the applicant unfit for the performance of the brain-racking duties of a patrolman is considered sufficient cause for sending the applicant to look up a job as guardsman on the elevated road. There were 37,000 Americans arrested during 1890 in New York. Of these, 29,000 were men and boys, and 8,000 women and girls. Many carried razors. The number of bartenders arrested was 3,700, actors 117, loafers 19,400, editors and reporters 99, and poets zero. The number of lost children taken in charge by the police in 1890 was 2,900. At the top of the house is the foundling department, presided over by matron travers. Children are kept there three days and then, if not called for, are sent to a good home. Down on the first floor, overlooking Mott Street, is the property department. It looks for all the world like a pawn shop. The shelves and floors are packed with hundreds of revolvers, knives, slung shots, jimmies, watches, silverware, opera glasses, horse clippers, whiskey, whips, kegs of vinegar, and a bale of hay. Upstairs, we strike the rogues gallery. The gallery consists of an immense case in which there are layers like leaves in a book. You turn these layers as you would leaves and see 1,924 faces. Each face is on a small card. On the backs of the cards are the pedigrees of the criminals. Up one flight in the Mulberry Street Mansion, and we come to the room where the patrolmen are fitted out with locust clubs, 35 cents each, rubber coats, $4.50, stripes, 8 cents each, and hats, $2.25 each. Downstairs is the courtroom where policemen are tried every Wednesday. During the year 1890, the number of charges preferred against members of the police force was 2,900, beginning with neglect of duty and disobeying orders and running through intoxication. Inspector Burns is acting superintendent at a salary of $6,000 per year. He was born in Ireland about 50 springs ago. He pulled himself up to his present position by his pluck and ability. He is the terror of evildoers. He says there's too much sentiment wasted on thieves and assassins. He also says that honor among thieves is an unknown quantity. He looks brace and cynical enough to tackle a boarding house steak. His office is large and one of the finest in New York. He is just like his office.